there's a bunch of look at Hmm, interesting. We're at Kenmore. And it looks pretty grey as far as I can see. See, even the cars are wet. Ah. Alright. This is the Wi-Fi analyzer as we drive along. See all these different Wi-Fi networks popping up as we drive by. It's a little bit amusing, I thought. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of them. Hmm, interesting. I only bought this to analyse the Wi-Fi booster that I bought use with the drone but uh, going down to see my sister and look at all the little Wi-Fi things <laughs> uh, I thought that's pretty cool just goes to show doesn't it how many people are on Wi-Fi so you can see all the different Wi-Fi networks so what if you don't want people to find your modem or SSID which means service set identifier well firstly log into your modem the address would have come with your device. Usually it's uh, some numbers such as 192.168.1.1 but check your literature on that. You do that through your web browser. You log in as normal. And then you're going to look at wireless. You may have two channels of wireless, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, or you may not. Anyway, what you're looking for is something called hide access point. Um, it could also say hide SSID, depending again on your modem. My current modem does say hide access point. You just click next to that, then go down to the bottom and click apply slash save. And if you have a dual channel wireless router, you go to the next frequency of 5 GHz in this case, and you do exactly the same thing. Once again, you look for hide access point or hide SSID. Click next to that, then click apply. And that will then hide your identification to any nearby searches. And you can simply click log out change in a second. Well, they're not around any houses here at the moment, but anyway you get the picture. Oh well, that's it for now. Having lunch with my sister today and it's raining. It's quite pretty. Pretty sure that's where the shop I used to have was over 20 years ago because that looks similar to the view I used to see. which has all changed now. If I've got it right, there used to be a bike shop next door there. No, it's not. There's been much concern about the potential dangers of using Wi-Fi. This video isn't about that. There's heaps of videos you can research that on. If it does concern you, here's the way to turn off your wireless router at home. Yes, it can be a bit of a pain. Uh, some modems do have a switch, which is a lot easier. Generally speaking, most tend to do it through software, so all you do here is log in. You unclick Enable Wireless, click Apply and Save, and if you have a dual channel modem, you go to the next frequency and you do exactly the same thing you unclick enable wireless click apply save and then you can simply go down and click log out the only difficulty with this if you want to use your wi-fi you have to go in simply repeat the whole process 
if you're not going to be spending a long time in front of the computer, it's probably okay. But if you're going to be spending the whole day, well, why take the risk? The thing is, even people that fly drones uh, are right up close next to a Wi-Fi transmitter, that being the, um, the remote control to the drone. As you can see here, when I click on the, uh, the Phantom controller, you'll see from amongst all the chaff, suddenly pops up the Phantom signal. And so that's right next to, well, right next to my body. So that's something worth considering too. If you are worried about it in your mobile phone, you can simply always turn off the Wi-Fi and also turn off mobile data and perhaps just check every half hour, 20 minutes, whatever. You're going to come over and have some out of the dish, are you? Okay? Is there other people here? Okay? Come on. Hello, birds. Good video, is it? Okay, I hope that's helped. And thanks again for joining me. See ya.